on, you know the vibes, www.damecomic.com, D-A-Y-M-C-O-M-I-C.com. Click the link below, order your comic books right now. They're dropping in a few months. Don't be without one. Mm. What's going on, everyone? Antonio here. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up for me. Let's get into it. All right. So it is Emmy season. All the, you know, you got the daytime Emmys, the uh, creative arts Emmys, and next week we will get the full Emmys broadcast, which will be hosted by Cedric the Entertainer on CBS. So uh, over the weekend, they did the creative arts Emmys, Lovecraft Country, which I understand got 18 different nominations. Uh, I, and I can understand they had uh, the creative arts Emmy specifically uh, is about special effects. It's about costumes, uh, you know, all that kind of, you know, cinematography, musical scores, all that kind of those uh, kind of behind the scenes things. Whereas the main Emmy broadcast, you'll get best actor, best show, best actress, best supporting, you know, best director. You know, the big the big guns will be on main Emmy night. But like the creative arts Emmys, there's like best set decorator, you know, all that kind of thing. So uh, like I said, that's how a, a show like that can get so many different nominations. But Lovecraft Country actually won, uh, won two awards. One was for best uh, guest actor on a series, and that went to Courtney B. Vance. Uh, Courtney B. Vance was, of course, uh, uh, Michael K. Williams' brother, uh, uh, Tick's uncle on uh, Lovecraft Country. And then, uh, so he, he won uh, the Emmy, and afterwards he was doing his press conferences, and, uh, you know, everybody's asking him questions, and obviously they asked him how he felt about the show being canceled a, a few months ago. Uh, you know, he was very vocal. He did not feel the show should have been canceled. Obviously, a lot of people feel that way because once the HBO announced that the show would not be returning for a second season, it seemed like it got all kind of different things. I would see different things on like Facebook with people discussing and uh, different forums I'm in where people were kind of going back and forth on why the show, uh, you know, uh, you know, somebody said, oh, they always cancel the black shows. Black shows don't get a chance. I do think if Lovecraft Country had been on BET that we would be getting a second and third season of the show. I do think that, um, you know, because that audience is more targeted towards a black audience. And I don't think uh, Lovecraft Country was necessarily the right fit. I'm going to talk about that later. But um, with all the press and everything that Lovecraft Country has gotten, especially now that it's been revamped since it did win a couple Emmys over the weekend. Uh, a couple of uh, news outlets reached out to uh, HBO's chief creative officer, a gentleman by the name of Casey Bloys, uh, B-L-O-Y-S, Casey Bloys. Uh, Casey Bloys was asked uh, specifically why they did not uh, option Lovecraft Country for a second season. And I thought his answer, he was, I think Casey Bloys could be a politician. The The answer was kind of a non-answer where he was saying, uh, uh, when we decide to option a show, uh, there's a, a lot of determining factors uh, that, uh, you know, let us know whether we're going to go ahead and we just couldn't we couldn't reach common ground. So he's basically saying, yeah, they kind of had some concerns and they went, uh, cause there, we know for a fact, cause I remember when I, I made a video a couple months ago when Lovecraft country's cancellation was announced and there were people saying there were, it was only supposed to be a one season show. It was never coming back for a second season. There's only one Lovecraft no country novel, which is true. It's, you know, the novel is, uh, only one volume, uh, there is no sequel to the book. So a lot of people was like, oh, it was just supposed to be a miniseries. HBO did not promote Lovecraft Country like it was a miniseries. They promoted it like it was going to come back uh, for another season. And we know that showrunner and writer uh, Misha Green did, in fact, pitch a second season. And she was on Twitter showing some of the things that were in her pitch for what her ideas were for uh, season two, uh, basically uh, the ramifications of everything that happened in the season one finale 
were going to spiral. We were going to jump ahead a few years. There were going to be three different Americas. There was going to be an America where black people ran everything. There was going to be an America where the whites ran everything. And then there was going to be a third America for like native and I think Asians and stuff like, you know, it was, there were going to be three separate, but yeah, it's definitely going to be black, white. And then the other one I thought was going to be like Latinos and, uh, you know, native people and stuff like that. So there were going to be three different Americas. There were going to be some zombies, uh, you know, and all this kind of crazy. There was going to be a lot, but there was going to be a fallout to the things that happened at the end of season one of Lovecraft Country, where Tick uh, and and his compatriots basically cast a spell and made it so that only black people had magic. White people would no longer be able to cast magic spells in this world. Only the black people would have magic. Um, I thought this was an interesting take. Um, and But I can see... As I watched each episode of Lovecraft Country, I could understand why white people kind of maybe felt a certain type of way about the show. But, you know, I, I you know, like I said, that's just me. But I, I asked a good buddy of mine, me and him's been uh, been friends for about 20 years now. He's a big horror fan. He, you know, he goes to like horror conventions and stuff. And he he's the one. We, we actually roomed together like, what, about 15 years ago. And uh, he, he would get all the horror movies in his room. He would have all the horror posters and different horror T-shirts. He's a horror. He's a big H.P. Lovecraft guy. He, had, he hadn't read the, uh, the Lovecraft Country novel, which I was surprised was actually not written by a black man. I thought, I thought Lovecraft Country, just based on the subject matter and how the show kind of went, uh, I thought... The H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, the Lovecraft Country novel was written by a black man or a black woman. And in fact, it was written by a white guy, which I was very surprised because it's very, I mean, the, the novel has all the black characters and stuff, just like the TV show and whatnot. But I was very surprised that uh, that the uh, Lovecraft Country novel where it has these black protagonists and all this, and it, it tells everything from a black perspective uh, very well, by the way. Um, I was surprised that someone that wasn't black was able to kind of dig in and get that, that experience of kind of what it was like, you know, in the 40s and 50s for black people in America. I was, I was surprised, but like I said, hey, he did his thing, New York Times bestseller. Um, unfortunately, like I said, the show did not get picked up, right? But um, I, um, when I was asking my, actually my buddy, he actually had watched Lovecraft Country a couple months before I did. I just, I kept, everybody kept telling me to watch it and I, I wasn't able to. So he had, he was one of the main, man, you watch Lovecraft Country. what did you think about it? I want to pick your brain on it. Blah, 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 blah. He watched it and he loved it at first and then he kind of, switched up on it and he kind of, he understood certain reasons. I think he seemed like he changed on it at first, like the first couple episodes, he thought it was great. And then as the series went on, when he, by the time he got to the final episodes, his opinion, he was like, it was okay. Uh, I thought the first couple episodes were good. And then it kind of, it kind of lost me. And that's, that was his opinion of it. And so as I had the conversation with him, um, before I made this video, I talked to him again and I kind of wanted to pick his brain about why he changed. And he said something that I thought was very interesting. He said that he thought uh, the Lovecraft television, the Lovecraft Country television show, he said it was anti-white. I thought that was very interesting. He was like, um, and I was like, at first I was like, anti-white, what are you talking about? And then I kind of look at the things that he pointed out and he had, he had some interesting points. Every white person on Lovecraft country was bad. There were no good white characters on Lovecraft. Even the ones that were nice ended up, you know, they, there was always a swerve or if they're being nice, they're going to be bad later. And I, as I looked through it, I was like, Hmm, that's interesting. Even, you know, um, 
You had the the young woman whose father was the ancestor of the guy and then turned out that Tick was related to them and but they need his power and this is, you know, so there was all this, he's my blood relative, but he's black and I'm white and they're going to do all this. So there was all this different stuff going on in the show. Um, and then when you hear Misha Green's uh, ideas for a second season, they were clearly going to continue to push that button. Um, and I think that would turn people off. Like I said, if, if this show was on BET or TV One, one of the black networks that they've set up now, I think we would be getting a second season. But when they, they, they were, I think they were hoping for a show, like I said, uh, that was going to, they, they've been looking for those shows that are like the Sopranos and Boardwalk Empire, uh, you know, that would get those people talk Game of Thrones and, you know, that would get a broad audience. Now this, there's a, a lot of black people like this show, but not enough where, they would just be like, it's cost effective because it had a lot of special effects and everything. And, and this is one of those things where I feel like, uh, with, uh, Casey, Casey Blois, he's kind of feeling like, look, when we kind of weigh all those factors, it just wasn't worth it for us to bring the show back. I know that's disappointing. We know the show got nominated for various awards and, and, you know, the NAACP said this and this and that, you know, and all this kind of thing. Uh, sometimes that'll help you like a, a show like uh, the She-Ra and the Princesses of Power on Netflix. You know, it, you know, it was getting all these amazing reviews, but then like the fans were rebe rebelling. You see difference. Matter of fact, like on Rotten Tomato, the show they they actually were like protecting the ratings so that people couldn't mark it down and stuff like that. And uh, you kind of look at some of the streaming numbers and the numbers had dipped, but it was getting like glad award nominations and it was getting all these, oh, this show is about inclusion and all this kind of, so it gets protected even though it's not doing the numbers that some of their other programming would do it would get, you know, it's it's being uh, nominated for awards and this and that and, you know, and being held for uh, being diverse and these kind of things. So a lot of times shows with minorities or, uh, you know, I don't know, I guess uh, LGBT inclusiveness and all this kind of stuff. Sometimes those shows can be pr protected even if they don't perform in the ratings because, I know Netflix has says has has said in the past that they're kind of looking to uh, be more inclusive. So even if a show is necessarily not killing them in the ratings, if it's doing a certain number where they can live with it and getting the type of the response, they'll keep a show on the air. So um, I think Lovecraft Country was kind of in that same thing. Cause like like I said, once my friend kind of explained to me where he, he was kind of, where he started off on a positive, he went into the show with a very positive attitude. And by the end of the 10 episodes, he kind of was like, that wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So had the show been picked up for a second season, I don't think he would have come back to watch it. Um, but uh, I thought, like I said, that's, uh, that's an interesting uh, like I said, I, I thought uh, Casey Blois was kind of kind of gave a politician's answer where he didn't just really break it down and explain why the show got canceled. But he got those questions. So he kind of answered but didn't answer. But uh, what do you guys think? Uh, you know, why do you think Lovecraft Country did not come back? Are you upset that it didn't come back? What do you think about the fact that it won a couple of Emmys at the, you know, do you think that the fact that they won Emmys should have saved the show? Uh, get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And please check out my podcast at anchor.fm slash Akari Press or just type in Akari Press on your favorite streaming platform today.